In this video we're going to look at thirds. I've got a few examples here like root 3, root 7, uh, cube root of 17, anything really which is inside uh, a square root or a cube root or some other root like a fourth root or a fifth root is, is a third. And it, really we're going to start by looking at square roots. Uh, so to, at the risk of stating the obvious, the square root of a number, uh, for example the square root of 3 is a number that when you multiply it by itself you get that number so the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is 3 and one of the first things we notice is that there are two square roots of 3 because we've also got minus the square root of 3 times minus the square root of 3 2 minuses multiplied to give a plus and that also gives uh, plus 3 so we know that there are two square roots of 3 uh, so we should just really note before we start that this symbol uh, doesn't just mean the square root this actually means the positive uh, square root, which is um, sometimes why you uh, see when, say, you solve an equation like x squared equals 5, you might then write x equals plus or minus the square root of 5, uh, because uh, x could be either this positive square root of 5 or the negative version of it minus the square root of 5. Now, there are some really useful rules to do with thirds. Uh, the first uh, one is about multiplying them together and if we have say the square root of 3 times the square root of 7 uh, that would give us the square root of 21 um, because 3 times 7 is, is 21 and uh, that works just because of this basic definition of a square root because if we take the square root of 3 times the square root of 7 and we multiply it by the square root of 3 times the square root of 7 so if you like I'm taking this number and multiplying it by itself uh, just by rearranging the multiplication we get the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 7 times the square root of 7 and by the definition of the square root of 3 this is 3 and by the definition of the square root of 7 this is 7 uh, so that gives us 21 and you can easily see then that that will um, uh, always work for any two uh, numbers here that if we have the square root of a times the square root of b we are going to get the square root of uh, a times b um, you can see that root 3 times root 7 is a number that when you multiply it by itself gives 3 times 7, so it's a square root, and of course the negative is, is the other square root. So that's a really useful uh, rule, and uh, we can use it in a lot of different ways. Um, one, uh, let's uh, have a look at an example. So if we have, say, the square root of 3 times the square root of 12, uh, we can immediately write that as the square root of 36, uh, but we know that the square root of 36 is just 6. So that's led to this expression becoming a lot simpler. We could have got to the same um, end point, if you like, by rewriting the square root of 12 as the square root of 3 times the square root of 4. And now we've got the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, which is 3, times the square root of 4, and the square root of 4 is just 2, so that's 3 times 2, uh, which is 6. Take another example, if we had the square root of 5 times the square root of 20, that would be the square root of 5 times 20, which is 100, which would be 10. Uh, and similarly, we could have written that as root 5 times root 5 times root 4, which again would have given us 5 times 2, uh, or 10. So as we can see, it's really neat when we get a, a square number ending up in one of these, because it means we can simplify that down really nicely. And there are other situations as well where we can sort of force a square factor um, out, out of a number to simplify it down. So for example if I wanted to simplify the square root of 75 plus the square root of 48, um, firstly just notice there's not an equivalent rule that says this is just the square root of 75 plus 48. We really really can't do that. Uh, the only rule we've got is to do with multiplication. Um, but if we can pull out a square factor that's a that, that's really useful and let me show you how, how it's going to work so the square root of 75 I'm just going to notice that 25 is a factor of 75 and so I can write this as, write 75 as 3 times 25 uh, and also for 48 I can write that as 3 times 16 and now we can use this rule in reverse and say well this is the square root of 3 times the square root of 25 plus the square root of 3 times the square root of 16. We don't need to write in the times here, this just means uh, times as it's written. Um, so this is useful because a square factor has come out here, so 25 is 5 squared, so the square root of 25 is 5, so this is just 
square root of 3 times 5. So we can write that as 5 root 3. This means 5 times the square root of 3. And this is the square root of 3 times the square root of 16, which is 4. So that's uh, 4 times root 3. Uh, and we can simplify that um, even further then, because if we've just got 5 lots of root 3 plus 4 lots of root 3, well, that gives us 5 plus 4, or 9 lots of root 3. So we can pull out these square factors to simplify thirds. A couple more examples, so if I had to say the square root of 99, um, we can factorise this as 9 times 11, and say that's the square root of 9 times the square root of 11. And the square root of 9 is 3, so that's 3 times the square root of 11. If I had the square root of 200, I could say, well, that's the square root of 2 times the square root of 100, and that uh, square root of 100 is 10, so that's 10 times the square root of 2. If I have the square root of 300 minus the square root of 12, I could write that as the square root of 3 times the square root of 100 minus the square root of 3 times the square root of 4. This is 10 times the square root of 3 minus 2 times the square root of 3, which gives us uh, 8 times the square root of 3. 10 minus 2, 10 lots of root 3 minus 2 lots of root 3 gives us 8 lots of root 3. So the key thing to look out for is, uh, firstly, any time you can use this rule of multiplying two thirds together uh, works really nicely for multiplication, and remember, not for addition. Um, but some additions work out nicely if we can pull out square factors that can lead to a, a, a good way to simplify a third. Of course, if we didn't end up with them both being the square root of 3 here, we'd have to just stop at this stage and not simplify them down together, and that, could, that would be a perfectly good final answer as well. For example, if I had, say, the square root of 8 plus the square root of 27, um, I can simplify this uh, a little bit and say, well, this is the square root of 2 times the square root of 4 uh, plus the square root of 3 times the square root of 9, uh, and that gives us 2 root 2 plus 3 root 3, uh, but then that would have to be my uh, final answer. I can't simplify these two uh, together. I've got two lots of one thing and three lots of a different thing. Um, but uh, it does simplify the expression to pull out any square factors and rewrite them as, as numbers, and the things inside the thirds are, are smaller values, and, um, and that means it is simplified.